hospital is full of miracles, but one day an amazing thing happened. I began my story with these words. An ordinary day at work did not port in anything interesting or new, the same trees outside the window, the same atmosphere all the same as always. As usual I was sitting in the women's clinic, going through papers, listening to complaints of patients and prescribing them the necessary prescriptions. That was how my daily routine went. But there were days that I will never forget. One day I was spending my day as usual, but suddenly I heard the cries of a pregnant woman. I immediately remembered her voice, she had recently been to my appointment, getting registered. Yes, not an easy case, two scars after cesarean section, she was pale, not particularly good health. I rushed to the screams, I look, she is lying on the couch, complaining of severe, almost unbearable abdominal pain, her term was already quite long. I immediately began to examine her, to be honest, it was unclear whether she had a problem or something with the baby. I asked to measure her blood pressure, it was 160, very low, said one of the nurses. I understood from her story that they were going to visit relatives, but on the way back in the car she became very sick. She barely made it to the hospital, now she couldn't stand it anymore. Hoping that nothing had happened to the baby, I began urgent preparations for surgery. After taking her on a stretcher, the nurses carried her to the operating room. Thanks to the rapid response of the medical staff, everything was soon ready. In the meantime, I ran to the residence room for her card, informed her that I was going to surgery, asked to reschedule all the patient's notes for the next two hours for a more convenient time. On the way to the operating room met Talia, his assistant, and together we raced to the operating room. The most important thing in medical work time. Yes, over time you get used to the chaos and the fast pace, the hospital becomes an integral part of your life. So while we were walking to the operating room, Vasilik had already measured the patient's pulse, and he was ready. Our main goal was to save the mother. However, the hope of saving the baby was not diminished. Yes, this operation was one of the hard ones. My eyes were afraid, and had it not been for Talia's support, I would not have made it. As they say, eyes are afraid, but hands do the work. After doing the hard work, we took a pure, innocent and breathless child into our arms. My eyes were full of tears, my mind was filled with only one phrase. I wish you had lived, oh god, let's have a miracle. Even in this position he was so beautiful, but to despair and pray, we had no time, there was still a lot of work ahead, we had to save the poor and pale woman. So I gave the baby to Vasilik with the words, please do something, work your magic. Suddenly we heard some squeaking that came louder and louder, and finally the baby's crying came to us, so sincere, so pure. At that moment, it was as if my life came back to me, and everything became bright and saturated.